what to do if you think you have any symptoms mm. or like how often you should go to the sexual health clinic. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what should people do? Like how often should we be going to the sexual health clinic? So it depends on, so everybody's different. So it depends on, you know, it depends on who you have sex with essentially, your sexual orientation, how frequently you have sex and what you do. So what I would suggest is for heterosexuals to screen about every six months for chlamydia and gonorrhea mm -hmm. and about once a year for a blood test for HIV and syphilis. Great. Reason being is that if you're, with the blood test, um, is that if you're a heterosexual living in a country like the UK, HIV is very low, you know, it's, it's a low risk country. So heterosexuals are not a high risk group for things like HIV and syphilis. So about once a year is fine for a, a blood test for that. Every six months for chlamydia and gonorrhea. So with a male that would uh, entail a urine sample and with a woman it would tell a vaginal swab or an a a rectal sample if you have anal sex as well. Mm. So let's say you have sex with somebody today and you'll think okay right we didn't use protection and I'm worried about an STI. Mm -hmm. The minute you think oh god I think I might have a, an infection I think I put myself at risk the first thing you think yeah. is right I'm going to go to the clinic yeah. which is good and it's good you know uh, but it does take a certain length of time for each infection to be detected on the test. Noted. Are there always symptoms as well? No so this is why I also if you do have a swab every six months even if let's say you tested positive for chlamydia we'll know that you've not had it for more than six months if you're doing it regularly. Yeah. With women, we can actually have infections like chlamydia and gonorrhea for a lot longer without any symptoms, mm. unlike men. So men are more likely to present with symptoms like pain passing urine, discharge, sort of an irritation. Whereas with women, because our vaginas are very special and very magical, <laughs> you know, we can... Uh, we can. Thank you. Yes. The, <laughs> yeah, the <decanter. laughs> So, you know, we can actually harbour infection for a lot longer with no symptoms, but eventually your body will start to tell you that there's something going wrong. So as a woman, what you should look out for are things like spotting, so a little bit of blood when you're not on your period, pain during sex and shooting pains down in your pelvis, they could be indications of something like PID. Uh-huh, yes. Pelvic inflammatory disease, mm -hmm. which is quite common. Yes, that's mm -hmm. just women, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just so, so we got that clear. Yes, that's right. <laughs>